Hello students, let's have some fun learning about motions of the earth. In the last session, we we'll taught you about uh, the motions of the earth, rotation and revolution. Now let's talk about leap year. As you know, the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation, which makes one earth day. It takes 365 days and six hours. One fourth day to complete one revolution around the sun on its orbital path. But we ignore the six hour for the sake of convenience. And every four years, these saved six hours are added to make one day. Because after uh, fourth year, it took added six into four, 24. So 24 hours is equal to one day. And it is added in the month of February. This year with an extra day is known as leap year. And that year, the year has 366 days. Now the next is solstice. Sol means sun. The solstic occur in a year during solstic sun rays fall directly on either of the tropics. First, we talk about they are the two solstices: summer solstices and winter solstices. First, we talk about summer solstice. Every year on twenty-first June. Northern hemisphere is still toward the sun. As a result, as a result, northern hemisphere still toward the sun. As a result, Tropic of Cancer receive direct sunlight and area beyond Arctic Circle till port experience continuous daylight from four to six months. So Tropic of Cancer receive maximum heat and this Pole, not pole, this Arctic circle uh, having six months on day light. The area beyond the Antarctic circle experience this means it is summertime in the northern hemisphere as this period of time plays in northern hemisphere experience long days and short night because summer is there. The Southern Hemisphere experience the exact reverse condition. It is winter there and the days are shorter and nights are longer. In the Southern Hemisphere, the darkness is there. It means the days are shorter and nights are longer. Now come to the next winter solstice. Winter solstice occur on 22nd December every year. In this position, the southern hemisphere is still toward the sun. The southern hemisphere is still toward the sun. Thus, this hemisphere experiences summer. The Tropic of Capricorn receives direct sun rays due to which the days, days are longer and nights are shorter. As you can see in this diagram, the sun rays directly falls on this portion. So the days are longer and nights are shorter and summer season occur there. The area beyond the Antarctic circle experience continuous light for six months as it is inclined toward the sun. The condition are exact opposite in the northern hemisphere. The condition reverses exactly in the northern hemisphere where the days are shorter and nights are longer and winter are there. Next topic is equinox. Equinox means equal day and night. The equinox also occurs twice in a year on 21st March and 23rd September. Neither of the pole are tilted toward the sun. Neither pole tilted toward the sun. Look at this diagram. Hence, the sun rays fall directly on equator. 
this is equator so the sun rays directly fall on equator the sun rays fall directly on equator due to which all the plates on the earth experience equal daylight hour and equal night time hour that is 12 hour of day and 12 hour of night on all the plates of the earth so on the equinox sunrise and sunset are roughly 12 hour apart worldwide the sun rays still are perpendicular to angle of the sun so the both the pole the receive uh, equal light so the equal day and night i hope you like my video thank you